What's going on, everybody? I'll take a look here at what happened today. Kind of see what kind of price movement we had. And uh, share the trade that we ended up taking this morning to capitalize on NFP. Pretty nice trade, actually. So if we start on the 15 quick, we can even go to the hourly. You'll see that we didn't really get much movement, right? Hide all this. Really still just seeking to destroy. We spoke about how once we clear that daily high, so we've cleared once again a daily liquidity point here. We expect a consolidation, and that's really what we've been getting. Right? So we make a high, we make a low, higher high, lower low, higher high, lower low. Now we've made a higher high. Wouldn't be surprised to see price trying to make a lower low sometime next week. As we work down on these time frames, the real movement right, came during, of course, NFP. So right at 830, we get the huge run up to clear out the buy side first. And then we aggressively move down to clear out the sell side, kind of starting that seek and destroy. We expected consolidation. So once we saw that, our objective became the buy side again. And you'll see how we were able to uh, interact with that. All right, so at first, we'll go down the one minute. We were looking to see if we didn't want to continue bearish. So we went in with small risk here right away. We were just going to use this little bearish fair value gap, stop above that fair value, or the candle that creates it here. As we push right up and through that, we understand, okay, we're off sides, right? We understand that we're going to start reaching for that buy side liquidity now. So after that, we go ahead and get long. Our first long entry comes on this candle. We get out here as price retrades into that inversion now, right? This becomes an inversion. We go long. We're kind of waiting in here. We consolidate a little bit, and then we actually form a little fractalized YouTube setup. Short term will be cleared here. We then break structure through this high, equal highs. And at the same time, we're leaving the original fair value gap where we entered. So as we do that, we understand that, okay, this low will be protected. So we go back in as soon as this candle taps that fair value gap. It's second time. So we're stacking our position, right? Creating a little larger position. We get in there, price releases, trades back into previous day low. And then we get our first partial here inside of this inefficiency so we targeted this fair value gap in this swing high just in case price didn't actually want to get all the way through right that's why we ended up getting stopped here in profit but we're able to actually position ourselves again for the true move but the first time we were in we ended up getting stopped in profit because as we create now another little short-term high we're just trying to run down equity so we run this high real quick once we kind of run this high we jam our stop below these lows and then you see we get stopped out here on this candle ultimately fully stopped out as price dips under below this. So we get stopped in profit just on that low wick, which is unfortunate. Price then reverses for us, right? Kind of did the same thing that we did here. We were going to say, well, we created a bearish fair value gap. We're going to go in sh small risk to see if we want to actually hold that bearish and return into like a new week opening gap. Instead, we push right up and through that fair value gap, creating an inversion. At that point, we understand, okay, we're going to resume our bullish activity. So as we get stopped here, that's when we go kind of full port into the longs. Because at this point, we've cleared sell side. We've bounced off of the previous day low. And now we have this high that becomes our target. We trust that if we're going to blast right through this bearish fair value gap, buy side becomes the objective. So for us, we get long here, catching the low of that, which was beautiful. All right, so we get the swing low entry, low ticking both of these candles. And then from there, it's really just all buy side delivery. So satisfying to right, get these kind of trades. As we run down some highs, we start to partial. So we get entered here. We take our first partial at about nine handles here at this little buy side area. Right, We create a high. We retrace. As we run that high, we take our first partial. Second partial becomes new day opening gap high here. You see well, that's where we take our second partial. Third partial becomes the high of this new day opening gap which was also the midnight. So just partially at logical areas that price may stall or reverse at. And that's why you often see we usually partial at like a wick or a swing high, right? We catch the swing low, partial at a swing high, partial at swing equal highs. This one's just a wick, but even here, right? Last partial before buy side, swing high, previous day high. And then we end up actually catching high of that AM session, which was uh, just real beautiful. We ended up running it later in the afternoon, but we catch the uh, swing high of that whole leg low to high which was real satisfying to see once we get out at that high we only had one more contract we were going to see if we didn't just want to continue to run so maybe we were going to do like standard projections we were using our stop this point as kind of our other right partially mechanic since we only had one one contract on so as we trade back below this candle here that's when we get tagged out 
Right, we're chilling our stop from our original entry. We go like this, just using the inversion. So we enter like this to target up here, right? Of course, with partials along the way. And now as we continue to deliver into that, we're moving our stop here, then we move it here, then here. And once we created this huge up leg and delivered into that buy side, we put our stop right below this candle here. As you see, this candle that stabs right through that and we end up getting stopped out. For us though, right, really no worry. The main portion of the leg was already secured and we were able to uh, profit pretty nicely, which was good. As you mentioned, had to take a few little just stop outs on the short side of things, trying to kind of test the waters, which is why we went in with lower risk. But we understand that if that short didn't work out, it gave us kind of a signal that we wanted to go long, which is why I was fine going short in there, because we would immediately flip our position if that was to get ran through, as we see here and here. We tried one more trade here in the afternoon that we'll kind of show real quickly. Didn't pan out, right? Went in with a pretty tight stop. You see that we had ran back down to clear out all the sell side. And now we had kind of broken away bullish fair value gap. We get above new day opening gap, find support. And then we actually, you'll notice, as this candle closes above this new day opening gap, we left a fair value gap. So we're just going to go ahead and try to use that paired with the down close candle, stop right underneath that to try to target. Right, really, we had kind of a low hanging fruit. We were going to partial here and then target at this fair value gap. Instead, we enter and then we immediately get stopped out. So I don't mind that. As you guys know, I don't mind if we are right or wrong as long as it is really quickly. Right, so we get in, get out within that one candle. That price kind of dips right through that new day opening gap. And then ultimately, you'll see that we do get under it and we deliver into this little swing low as we have close out the market here for the week. So overall, NFP gave some pretty nice delivery. And uh, yeah, just wanted to hop on here and give a little recap of what happened before the executions go away at the end of the day. Yeah, I hope you guys found that one helpful. Going into next week, as we mentioned, we might see if we can't continue this little seek and destroy and maybe return into this daily fair value gap. Notice we have a lot of new week opening gaps here, so wouldn't be surprised to see price reach into that. Yeah, wouldn't be surprised to see that potentially returning lower into uh, some sell side objectives, especially because we have cleared buy side now again as well. So we'll look for that going forward, but we'll meet up again on Tuesday. Until then, have a good weekend, everybody. Take care.